nerds! Hi Yogi's Carly and Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a waterfall warrior flow. So our bodies are of course made of a lot of water and they really likes that kind of waving water-like flowing movement. So we'll have a lot of kind of waving motions in our sequence today. To start though we'll of course activate our Mula Bandha breath. So we'll come into our ankle to knee pose, ankles and knees stacked on top of each other. Uh, bottom foot can be flexed or pointed and slightly rotating down, whatever is more comfortable for you today. And don't worry about your knees being directly on top of your ankle. You know, if you have space, that's fine. Really, we're letting gravity do the work to start opening up our hips while we warm up our breath. So inhaling here, think about breathing from your low belly, your low diaphragm, your pelvic floor in a 360 direction. As you exhale, squeeze everything in and lift it up and out as you exhale. Inhaling here. Exhale. Really warming up our deep core muscles, even with doing this simple breath. Inhaling. Exhale. And we'll start adding some of that wave-like motion. So inhaling here. Exhale, just lean yourself forward slightly. Again, we're not worried too much about doing a deep stretch. Just lean yourself forward a bit, put your fingertips on the floor, and start waving back and forth. Maintaining that Mula Bandha breath as we're doing this waving motion. Signaling our body and our hips that we're gonna start moving, then start opening our muscles. Then from here, take a couple waves with the spine. And notice if you're able to go a little bit deeper with each exhale. Roll yourself up. And from here, you're gonna take your right foot, place it on the outside of your left leg, coming into a seated spinal twist, so kind of tucking your left foot a little bit closer to you. Inhale tall with your left arm. We're gonna twist, so twist comes from our core, and you're gonna hook your left arm around your right knee, and just kind of squeeze it towards you, getting a bit more of an IT band stretch here. But you don't want the twist to come from your arms. That's coming from your core. This is just adding some length and a little bit more stretch in the leg. One last breath here, coming back to center and we'll switch sides. So now right foot's on the bottom, left leg is on top, coming into that comfortable ankle to knee position, extending tall through the spine. And focusing on the Mula Bandha breath. Inhaling warm and wide, exhale, squeezing the air in and out. here inhale reach tall as you exhale lean forward again finding the kind of first edge of stretch not going really deep just planting your fingertips in front of you so you can start waving your spine back and forth starting to warm up our legs our core all of our spinal movement Here, take a few waves forward. So as you inhale, wave the spine long, extending tall through the crown of your head, and exhale, waving down, noticing if you fold a little bit further with each wave. Then come up to seated position here. So left foot is coming down to the outside of your right, tucking your right foot under for your seated spinal twist. Again, ground your sits bones first, extend tall through your spine, right arm lifts, and you exhale, twisting from your core. So you should be able to do the twist just with your um, core strength and your oblique strength, and then hook your right arm around your leg, 
to deepen the stretch in the leg, maybe give you a little bit more lift through the spine. You can look over your left shoulder if that feels good to complete the twist. One last breath here. Back to center. We'll take one final warm up moment. So feet come together in your Baddha Konasana butterfly pose. Again, don't worry about pressing your knees down or anything like that. Gravity's doing the work for us today. Just ground into the earth with your sits bones. Inhale tall through the crown of your spine or crown of your head. And exhale coming over to kind of that um, forward fold again, fingertips out in front of you and wave your spine back and forth one last time. Trying to warm up our inner thighs just a bit before we get into our waterfall warrior. And inhale, wave forward. Exhale. This is our waterfall breath as we inhale here, waving the spine up and then exhale, waving it down. From here, coming back to center, we're gonna make our way onto hands and knees and then come into our downward facing dog. So strong fingertips on the mat here. Really wrong, wanna ground into the earth. As you exhale, press yourself back into your down dog. You can pedal out your feet for a moment, starting to warm up the backs of our legs now. And from here, we'll take a full waving motion in our spine. So come onto your toes, bend your knees and elbows really deep then wave your spine forward, coming into your high plank. Come onto your knees, lower down through Chaturanga. You're gonna inhale here, prepare, we're gonna do waterfall cobra. So inhale, wave up. Exhale, waterfall back down. Inhale, exhale. And you can do a more baby cobra here if that feels better for you. And last one, inhale, prepare. This time, roll yourself in and up and press back to your down dog. Very nice. We're going to keep using that waterfall breath in a few of these poses. We're going to inhale here, though lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bending your knees and elbows to create space as you step your right foot to your right thumb. Now from here, just walk your hands to the inside of your right foot. You can step it a little bit wide if that feels better for you and come onto your knee. We're going to start getting a little bit deeper into our legs and hips for our waterfall uh, warrior. But to start, we're just going to inhale, exhale, getting some wave-like motion. You can even press away from the floor with your legs. Exhale, a little bit deeper. Inhale. We're waterfalling our warm-up stretch as well. Inhale, now plant your left palm firmly into the mat. Come off of your back knee. Right arm extends to the sky. We'll do some circling here. So circling your arm back. Really good wave-like motion for the shoulders. As you inhale, extend your right leg just to which first edge of stretch. Exhale, circle down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, one last time. Coming into your full stretch for a moment. And then this next pose is gonna be kind of a fun challenge if you're, if you're wanting to try it. So circle your right arm behind you. Come onto your back knee. We're gonna try catching our foot for a quad strike. So lifting your left knee. Try to catch it with the right hand. Extend tall through your spine, through the crown of your head. Get a little bit deeper quad stretch, pressing away from the floor with your left hand. One more inhale and exhale here. Gently release that as you bring your right hand back to the floor, really lifting in and up with that knee, stepping back to downward dog. Pedal out your feet. Notice the difference already, just from one tiny sequence <laughs> on your legs. Inhale here, bend knees and elbows. Wave yourself forward to plank. 
This time, just tiny bend in your elbows as you exhale, wave yourself back to down dog. Wave the spine long, create space for your neck and shoulders as you settle back into that pose. And then bend knees and elbows here as you lift your left leg to the sky, exhale, really lifting in and up to create space as you step your left foot to your left thumb. Again, you can walk it just a little bit wider than the hips if that feels better for you. Uh, left hand is on the inside of the left foot, coming onto your back right knee. Wave your spine long, inhaling here and exhale, waterfall, folding the pose a bit deeper. As you inhale, you can come off of those legs, back the pose up and exhale, sink into it more. Inhale, lift up, exhale. Very nice. From here, coming off of the right knee, right hand plants firmly beneath the right shoulder. Exhale, left arm extends to the sky. We'll do those circling revolve triangles again. So circle the arm down and back. As you exhale, coming to that first edge of stretch on your left leg. Exhale. And one more circle, exhale. Holding that stretch for just a moment. And then if you're ready to take that extra quad challenge, you'll circle your left arm down and back. As you're doing that, right knee drops towards the earth. You're reaching back with your left hand already. Right foot comes up to meet it. Really extending long through your spine again. We've got a bit of a twist happening here still like we were doing with the revolve triangle. Just for one more breath and exhale. Plant your hands firmly into the mat. Really lift in and up with that knee, stepping back to your down dog. Pedal out your feet again. Kind of move that energy through the whole body. So bending knees and elbows, waving yourself forward to plank. This time, come onto your knees, exhale down to the earth. We're going to inhale and do those waterfall cobras again. So inhaling, exhale. Inhale last time here. Exhale. This time inhale, prepare. Exhale, roll yourself in and up a little bit higher, Cobra. Exhale through your point, uh, pointed plank to your down dog. Getting our body warmed up for the waterfall warrior pose we have coming up. So inhale, bend knees and elbows. Right leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, create space as you step that right foot to meet your right thumb. Now from here, back leg is going to come naturally down onto the earth. You have a slight angle in your hips, you, or in your toes. You're going to roll yourself up, slight angle in the hips here. And exhale, face forward for warrior one for just a couple of breaths. Really settle into this pose for a moment. Then take your fingers, interlace them behind your back. You can uh, open your back heel a little bit if you need a little bit more space for the waterfall warrior. But you're going to inhale here, prepare. Exhale, fold inside your leg. Just that first edge of stretch. You don't want to fold too deep where you're straining the stretch. And exhale, wave yourself up. So that's our waterfall. Inhale here. Exhale. Waterfall motion with this. If you want, you can do this with your fingertips on the earth if that's a little bit easier for you. You can also maybe fold just to here. And work your way towards that deeper waterfall inside the right leg. The last one, you're just going to hold it for another breath, really getting deep into that stretch. And from here, gently release the hands. Right fingertips or right palm is going to plant underneath right shoulder. Left hand is going to extend towards the sky. And you'll start straightening that front leg, your right leg, to that first edge of stretch. 
and we'll do some circling in our full triangle pose here. So circle the arm, down and back, and exhale as you extend a full expression of the pose again. Coming to your first edge of stretch for this triangle. And last one. For an added moment here, you can rotate your palm behind you, wrap it around your back, stretch out your shoulder, make sure that you are extending long through your spine still. And on that last breath, exhale, bending your front knee, hands plant firmly into the mat, really lifting up through your core, stepping back to down dog. From here, bending knees and elbows, waving yourself forward, tiny bend. As you exhale, wave yourself back. Wave the spine long. Notice the difference again on both sides. And we will try that sequence with our left side. So inhale here, left leg lifts. Exhale as you create space to lift that knee in and up and step it towards your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine, grounding your back foot naturally on the earth. Roll yourself in and up. Your hips are open diagonally. They're not square to the side of your mat. They're diagonal and the twist for warrior one comes from your side body, your obliques. Core strength, we're not twerking our hips here. Once you've settled into that pose, interlace your fingers behind you, stretch your wrists out long, opening your shoulders, and you're going to exhale. Waterfall warrior, folding inside that front leg. Inhale here, prepare, and exhale, waterfall back up. Again, you can do a tinier waterfall here if that feels better for you. Exhale, finding that edge of stretch though. Stretch and strength. Your front leg might be shaking a lot, but that's okay. The last one, stay in that forward fold. You can even wave your spine long a little bit more. From here, gently release your fingers. Right or left hand is going to plant underneath left shoulder. You can stay on fingertips if that's better for you. Right arm is going to extend to the sky as you exhale, coming to that first edge of stretch of your triangle. And then we'll circle this side. So exhale, bending everything at close to the earth. Unfurl back towards the sky. Nice flowy motion here. Exhale, last time. This time as you reach your expression of this pose, you can try that half bind again. If that felt good, stretching out your shoulder more. You can look to the ceiling, you can look to the floor, whatever's most comfortable for you today. And then exhale, hands plant firmly onto the mat lifting your knee in and up as you step back to down dog. We'll do one more waving vinyasas here. So bending knees and elbows, wave yourself forward, coming onto your knees, lowering towards the earth. And we're going to do that waterfall cobra. Really waterfalling, waving your spine. Last time here, you're going to inhale, prepare, exhale this time as you lift in and up, and exhale back to down dog. Pedal out your feet again. And from here, walk yourself forward. From here, you're going to make your way onto the mat, whatever is going to be easiest for you. However you want to get there, come onto your back. We'll Come into our resting pose, but first have your knees a little wide, windshield wiper back and forth. Say 
great way to end any practice. We did stretching and strengthening at the same time. But if you have any other stretches you want to take, now is definitely a great time to do that. Uh, you can also take your feet out wide, kind of knock your knees together for a couple of breaths before coming into your final resting pose. I do hope that you enjoyed that waterfall warrior flow. Hope you've had a lot of kind of waving, flowy movement that you can take with you to the rest of the day. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel so that you can get on the mat with me again, check out all of the new videos that are coming out, and of course, get on the uh, League of Nerdy Yogis email list. I have exclusive content waiting for you there. Namaste.